guys welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for watching so today I am going to be reviewing the new NARS all day luminous weightless foundation I used this foundation in my last video which was video which was the grunge glam makeup look I'll have a link down below if you guys have not seen it yet but I used this foundation in the video and I asked you guys in the intro if you wanted me to do a review slash demo on this foundation because there are a lot of mixed reviews here on YouTube about this foundation. I've seen people who love it. I've seen people who hate it. So I definitely wanted to come on here since I do have a little bit more knowledge on this foundation because I was literally just waiting for it to launch. I researched this foundation so much that I feel like... I'm a pro at it because I really did research ways to apply it. This foundation works best on tips and tricks that you can do while wearing this foundation. So today, that's what I'm going to be talking about. If you're about. not interested in what I like and hate about this foundation, then definitely skip to the demo because I do show you my favorite ways to apply it. I show you two different ways plus a bunch of tips on how to apply this foundation. So if you're just interested in seeing that, then just skip ahead and go to the demo. But I do want to briefly talk about this because in my opinion, it's a great foundation and a lot of people have just kind of just kind of gotten the wrong impression of it because this foundation, just because it says luminous, it doesn't mean that it's going to be for dry skin. You also have to look at the ingredients that the foundation has. This foundation is oil free. So if you're dry skin, you definitely don't want anything that's going to be oil free because it's just going to cling on to the dry patches. So just because it says luminous on it does not mean that it's for dry skin. If you have dry skin, you're probably going to hate it unless you mix it with some sort of serum if you mix it with a moisturizer if you wet your brush with some fix plus and then apply it that might work for you if you're half dry skin but for the most part everyone who i know that has tried the foundation that has dry skin has hated it so this foundation is mostly i personally will recommend this foundation to people who have very very oily skin and still want that luminous glow and to people who have combination skin who have an oily t-zone and then normal to maybe even drier areas in the perimeter of the face because you can always just go ahead wet your brush with some fix plus and then go ahead and apply it in the drier areas but since your main focus is the t-zone being oily this will work for you so I personally love everything about it I love the packaging it's really nice and sleek it has kind of like this I don't want to say foggy because it's not foggy. I know there's a word to describe the bottle but I'm gonna skip right through it I just love it and the best part is that it does come with a pump if you guys are familiar with the old NARS foundation I have the sheer matte not the sheer glow because again I'm kind of oily but if you guys are familiar with the old foundation you guys know that it does not come with a pump unless you buy the pump separately so it is a great plus to have a pump because it makes it so easy to apply you don't have to be like trying to get the product out it's really really easy to apply I believe there is about 20 shades that you can choose from I chose the color Punjab which is medium one this is a shade that matches me perfectly I have more of a yellow undertone and I feel like NARS makes great colors for people who have more of an olive yellowy undertone like myself I feel like this this is the perfect color for me so definitely go get color matched because you don't want to pick up something that's not going to match you it does oxidize a little bit so make sure that you are aware of that but this just matches me extremely extremely well the foundation is extremely pigmented and it's extremely liquidy you definitely have to shake it up which I'll show you guys that in the video so I'm not gonna talk too much about it because I already talked about it in the demo but you definitely have to shake it up to really kind of mix all of the products and all of the oils together and then apply it. If you don't mix it up, you're going to have a blotchy application. It's not going to be a smooth application. So you definitely want to shake it up before you apply it. But it is really, really pigmented. It says on the website, because I did look it up before talking about it, it says on the website that one drop 
should cover your whole entire face. I find that one drop is extremely pigmented, don't get me wrong, but it's definitely not enough to get a full coverage on your whole entire face because one drop of this foundation is literally one drop. Like I'll just do, see that is one drop and to me that is not enough to cover my whole entire face. Hold on, let me wipe this off before I get it everywhere. So to me, one drop is definitely not enough to cover my whole face, especially because I like a fuller coverage. If you're going for a medium coverage, then you can definitely pull off the whole one drop thing that it says it could do, but I like a more fuller coverage. So what I like to do is I apply one drop per section. So I'll use one drop for this side of my face, one drop for this side, a drop for my forehead, nose, and chin, and I'm good to go. The drops are very little, so you're applying very little product because it's so pigmented you don't really need more you can definitely build up the coverage to your liking you can do a full coverage you can do a medium coverage you can even do a light coverage which I love and yeah I just think it's a great foundation but again I can't stress this enough don't go buy it without first trying it go out to your sephora and ask for a sample they give you a little container with a little bit of the foundation try it out before you go ahead and purchase the full size because it, this is a pricey foundation these retails i believe for about 42 dollars 42 or 48 dollars i'm not really sure so it is pretty pricey for something that you may or may not like. That's pretty much it for this part of the video. Please stay tuned if you guys want to see a demo on how I apply it and also to learn some tips and tricks on how I applied this foundation. So yeah, I'll see you guys now in the demo. So to start the demo portion of the tutorial, I first want to show you guys the foundation. This one is the NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation. And I don't know if you guys can see, I will be zooming it into the camera before I shake it, but this foundation needs to be shaken up for a good amount of time because it's so liquidy that it kind of the oils and everything all the ingredients kind of split up and separate so if you don't shake it properly you're not gonna like the coverage of it you're not gonna like the application of it because it's just going to be off it's going to be blotchy it's going to be a hot mess so you definitely want to make sure that you shake the foundation extremely well before you go ahead and apply it so as you guys can see right here you it's the perfect example of what I'm saying you can definitely see the foundation is completely separated because it's so liquidy and as I turn it around, you can see also in that upper corner how the foundation is completely split. All the ingredients, the oils, the minerals, and all that gets completely split. And that's why you really, really need to shake up the foundation. If I keep turning it around, you can see the difference of colors. So that's why it's so important for you to shake it up really well before application because that's what's going to make the difference on the way the foundation sits on the skin. There's actually three different ways that you can apply it. You can apply it with a beauty blender. You can apply it with a stippling brush, which these two are my favorite. This one is the IT brushes, the IT Cosmetics brushes for Ulta. This one is number 110. It is the airbrush buffing foundation brush. And I also love the Stigma Flat Kabuki brush. This is the F80. They're both great brushes and then the third option is to actually go ahead and apply it with your hands. Now the hands for me is not my favorite way to apply it just because our hands doesn't matter how clean they are, how clean you think they are, just by touching a surface they can get dirty and they can have a bunch of bacteria so I definitely don't recommend the hands but I do love, out of all the three of them, I do love the Beauty Blender application better. In my opinion, it's a little bit better. It applies better. You have more control of the strokes. And it's just the way that I prefer to apply it. But feel free to use a brush. In my last tutorial, you guys saw that I did go ahead and use a brush. But after I tried it with the Beauty Blender, I kind of prefer the Beauty Blender better. For the Beauty Blender, my Beauty Blender is not extremely wet. You want to make sure that the Beauty Blender is damp. So once I put it under the faucet and wet the Beauty Blender, I like to go in with a towel and really squeeze it to make sure that it's just damp and not extremely wet. I feel like if the Beauty Blender is really wet, this particular foundation completely shears out and it's not 
as pigmented as it really as the potential that the foundation has to be pigmented because it's a super pigmented foundation but if the beauty blender is really really wet it's going to shear it out because that's the point of the beauty so, blender now that i'm ready to apply the foundation i do want to mention that i did moisturize with my origins gin zing energy boosting moisturizer i love this moisturizer it's oil free but it's extremely hydrating which is perfect for me because i have oily combination skin i have oily in my t-zone and then i have some dry patches around the perimeter of my face so this is perfect because it's hydrating but it's oil free so it works with my combination and then skin. i did go ahead and apply an eye cream i have been using the mac mineralized charged water moisture eye cream so i went ahead and i applied that as well so now what i'm going to do is i am going to be priming my skin i always prime the skin so today i'm going to be using the smashbox photo finish foundation primer this is the pore minimizing primer so I am going to go ahead and I'm going to go apply some. I don't take a lot of this primer. I take about this much. I work it in my fingertips and then I only apply it to the areas where I really need to fill in my pores, which is mostly this area right here and then a little bit on the forehead and then a little bit on the chin. So the next thing that I'm going to do is I am going to be applying a corrector and the one that I'm using is by Amazing Cosmetics and this is in the shade Medium Beige and I really like this to correct my under eyes. As you guys can see, I have really bad dark circles at the moment because I've been suffering from insomnia. I hope that's how you say it. I can't sleep at night. I'm more interested in playing a game on my phone or looking at a move, watching a movie than sleeping. So my dark circles are really catching up to me. So I'm going to be using this to correct them. I'm going to grab a little bit of that and I'm going to be applying it in the areas where I really want to conceal my under eye circles. So I'm going to just apply this right here and I'm not bringing this product down too much I am just concentrating this product where I have the dark circles so again I'm going to shake it up so once I'm done shaking it up I like to apply it two different ways. I'll show you one way in one side and then another way in the other side. So the first way I like to apply it is I'll just directly pump one pump into the brush and then I'll stipple it on. So that's what I'm going to do right now. And one pump is enough for me to cover one side of the face. You don't need more than that. This foundation is so incredibly pigmented that you don't need a lot of product in order to cover your whole entire face. So one pump pretty much covers one side of the face for me. I, another thing I don't do is I don't take my foundation up to my under eye area. If you guys notice in all of my videos, I just pretty much take my foundation up to like here and the under eye area stays completely bare because then that also helps with the creasing of the concealer. If you have too much product under your eyes, that concealer is going to crease. So I don't really apply too much product under there. So that is one way that I like to apply it. So then another way that I like to apply it, I'm going to shake it up. So and another way that I like to apply it is I'll pump some in a surface. And this is a more full coverage application. This side is more of an everyday wear. And then this side is going to be a little bit more full coverage because we're going to be applying a little bit more product. Even if you don't think you are, you are going to be. So what I like to do is I'll just take my ring finger and then I'll dot it all over. So believe it or not, even if it doesn't look like you're applying a lot of product, you are applying more product on this side than this side. 
So those are the two ways that I like to apply it. If I'm wearing the foundation just to go run some errands, I'll just use this side, just the beauty blender. But if I want a little bit more of a fuller, fuller coverage, then I'll dot it all over my skin. Once it's dotted, I'm going to go in with the beauty blender and just blend it all out. guys so that is how I love to apply this foundation I like the fact that it keeps me matte but at the same time I have a glow to my skin which is what I want for my skin because since I am very oily I want something that's going to mattify me but at the same time I kind of want that dewiness that glowiness that just looks really pretty okay, guys so my final thoughts on the foundation is that it is a great foundation I think this foundation will look absolutely stunning on the girls and guys who have oily to combination skin personally i know i'm going to be loving this foundation for the summertime because it's really hot here in Do florida get really shiny and very oily in the summertime even though it's not extremely cold here in florida it is a little bit cooler at nighttime so I definitely do see some dry patches, but that's normal for me. It's nothing too visible. And since I do use a very rich moisturizer, it just works out perfect for me. You can really see my dry patches, but if you're very, very dry, you definitely want to stay away from this because this will emphasize your dry patches. Before you go ahead and purchase the full size bottle, definitely go and ask for a little sample. Try it out. Try it out in the morning try it out at night time try it out with the moisturizer try it out with the serum and then decide if you do want to go ahead and purchase it because it is pretty pricey i personally loved it i personally love it i have been wearing it non-stop i love the way that it makes my complexion look because i still look really matte but at the same time my skin does have a beautiful glow to it so i love this foundation i definitely definitely recommend it for those who have oily skin Good. that completes my video i hope that you guys enjoy it please let me know what other products you guys want me to review or do a first impression on i love these types of videos. these types of videos are my favorite videos to watch here on youtube i love watching first impressions i love watching review videos so let me know what products you guys want me to review next and yeah that's it i love you guys very much thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys very soon